What's up, fellas? So today somebody asked me about what my thoughts on Athlean X is. And I'm also gonna talk about how to build your back properly, how to work your back properly. But first, let me talk about Athlean X. Guys, as far as knowledge goes, <clears throat> this literally might be the best knowledge channel on fitness there it is on YouTube, all right? I think a lot of you guys already know that. He don't offer much in the in the uh, space of entertainment, but he's, if, if knowledge is what you're looking for, I highly recommend Athlean X. Uh, the guy's a physical therapist, and a lot of the corrective issues and stuff that I've went through with my clients, I've seen him talk about and things like that, so I actually learned a lot of him, a lot from him about corrective and stuff like that. Only one thing is, I don't know what this motherfucker has to do most of his uh, videos with his shirts off. I, I never seen a man so proud of his body before. You know, I hope and pray that one day I could be as proud of my body as this motherfucker, obviously as proud as his. Because this motherfucker will be doing a fucking calf video with his shirt off. You know, I can, I can see an ab video, a chest video, but I've literally seen this dude do explain how to work the calf with his fucking shirt off. So, kudos to this man for being... I never seen a man so proud of his body a day in my life. All right, so that's my thoughts on Athlean X, but great channel, great information. You guys definitely should check it out, especially if you're just looking for knowledge and not entertainment. I highly recommend his channel. And okay, so I want to talk about how to work the back properly. All right, so uh, the first thing, guys, is you want to prioritize what you're looking for first while you're fresh. So let's hypothetically say you need more lats then you need run boys. Then obviously you would want to do uh, pull downs first, all right? So you wanna do whatever you wanna prioritize all the muscles that you need in that priority. So let's hypothetically say you need more lats, then run boys, you wanna work the lats first. Let's say you need more erectors, then you need run boys, then you would put the erectors before the run boys. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you wanna work, the top priority, you wanna do it while you at your freshest, all right? So let's hypothetically, let's just say you want in the order of lats, rhomboids, erectors, all right? So for lats, you wanna work, do something that brings your arm to an extension, all right? So guys, this is me lifting my arms up. My arm is in flexion right now. And when I bring it down, it's in extension, all right? So you wanna do something that brings your arm to extension. That could be lat pull down. That could be, um, you could take the cables. And I'm gonna start doing workout soon, but I'm just trying to get the basic stuff down first. And so you could do lat pull downs like this with the cable, all right? So anything that brings your arm first, you could take the hammer strength machine, the one that is unilateral and pull down, anything that brings your arm to the extension, pretty much. All right, next, run board. And to get your run boards real good, guys, all you gotta do is contract, something that contracts your scapula, so like a row, a T-bar row, anything that squeezes your scapula together is gonna work your run, boys, all right? So anything that brings the scapula together, all right? And <clears throat> your erectors, it's just what it says, guys. Anything that brings you to erect. Erect means that if you're down in a flex position and you stand up, bring up, that's gonna work your erectors. Anything that brings your torso back to the extension, all right? So a deadlift, uh, anything like that guys anything that uh superman so say you uh laying flat on the floor in a prone position you want to anything got your arms out like this that is gonna work your erectors if you fully extended laying on the floor all right that's that's superman anything like that all right another thing that's highly overlooked guys is the lower trapezes all right a lot of us guys our scapulas come up like this all right it comes up so you want something that brings it down decompress all right so you want something to do something that decompresses your scapula you could do the lap machine where you just squeeze your scapula down like that but that is a highly overlooked muscle while a lot of us will look like we tensed up like we always asking you all day i don't know that's why because you don't work your lower trapezius so make sure you work your lower trapezius some people do our lower trapezius with shoulders uh, with the rest of their traps and all this and that and other. That's up to preference of when you want to do it or some guys do it with, um, whenever you want to do it, guys. I do it with back, um, so it's all up to you, all right? And last but not least, guys, understand that I said your, um, your arm, 
to work the lat, you bring your arm to the extension. This is extension. When your arms are down by your side, that's his full anatomy extension, right? Okay, so understand that the long head of the tricep gets involved. So I wouldn't recommend doing any pressing movements the day after back, all right? Ideally, you wanna do your pressing moves before you do back, if you can, all right? Because when you're doing pressing movements, if your triceps give out, which is the weak link of your pressing movements, they'll give out before your chest, all right? And if you're doing a whole bunch of lat pull downs or anything like that, that's gonna fatigue your tricep. And you'll feel it on chest day too, you'll feel it. I'm not saying it's gonna bring your bench down by 100 pounds, but it'll knock a couple of reps off your uh, max strength just from it being fatigued. So you wanna make sure you at least, if you're gonna do pressing movements behind your back, make sure it's at least not the next day, preferably, if you can help it. You wanna, ideally, I would like to do pressing movements before back. But if you're somebody who just, uh, your back is your top priority, and you wanna do that at the beginning of the week, uh, you can do that, but I will at least take a day off, make sure I don't do back, then the very next day doing the pressing movements. Is you gonna die? No, you're not gonna die. You will live You will live if you do a press move behind back, but remember guys, we're talking about optimal here, all right? That extra rep or two is a lot more muscle, it adds up over time, all right? So you don't want your triceps fatiguing before your pressing movements, on your pressing movements, before your chest. They gonna fatigue out pretty much before your chest anyway, but you just gonna make them fatigue even faster. All right, guys, so that's my thoughts on that. I have another video coming out soon. Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. Holler back. Make sure you share the video too, guys. Holler back.